Please, dear, where are you? I've been waiting here for you for three hours. It was three hour and a half hours after when you said you were leaving home to come to, to, come to me. I thought I would have a special surprise gift for you. That's right, a special surprise here. Yes, I've been standing here in the front door for so long with a rose between my teeth. It's been very difficult, a real endurance test. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to talk much when you get if we don't get here soon. Oh, what do I do for love? But I have to say, it's a lot better after I took the rose out of my mouth and cut the thorns off. It feels so much better now. Yes, I know. One is expected to suffer for love, but I'm starting to reach for a limit. So please hurry, dear. When you get this text, it's been so long. The neighbours are no longer standing on the opposite nature strip and staring. They now got out their folding chair and services and blankets or rugs anyway and sitting in for the long haul. Please hurry, dear. The police dropped by just before. They're asking was I going for a world record. Well, dear, I, through gritted teeth, I told them, I'm not sure, but it's certainly shaping up that way. If they don't get, uh, they said if I, not to keep it up for too long as the crowd was getting big and restless, and it could cause a traffic hazard. Please, please hurry, this march I stand is getting hard to maintain. I'm down to my last, to the last of my half dozen roses. All the others have been wilted or been bitten through. Uh, we'll have to stop soon as the crowd is getting very restless. They want action. Uh, they look like they're going to take action in their own hands. Oh, God. They don't know the half of it. Please. Please. Yes. Yes. I know one is expected to suffer for your love, but this is getting a bit too bloody much. So if you don't get here soon, I'll give up on love and romance. I will. I will. Yes, I will. It's, it's, it's so overrated. <laughs>